matter. Uh, somebody, has, somebody hasn't spoken. Rock. Yes. Rock, guys. Human. Yes. Rock. Boulder. So we got a rock. <laughs> okay, we got a human. Everything. Gas. Somebody said everything. I think. Okay. Did. Who said everything? She did. So basically, my hand is made of a matter. Yeah. Yeah, right? Now, what about the skin? It's made up of what? Cells. Cells. And what are the cells made up of? Matter. Atoms. How do you break, what do you break cells down into? Even more small. Atoms. Bacteria. Atoms, right. There you go. Atoms are broken up into what? What's smaller than an atom? Electrons. Electrons. And what's the other thing? It starts with a P. Pop. Electrons, and you have to have protons, right? Oh. So we got electrons, protons, we have atoms, maybe cells, and things like hands, okay, skin. So all this stuff is matter, all right? And the idea is, is this book matter? Yes. yes. Okay, is it chalkboard matter? Yes. The I eraser? Everything. everything is pretty much matter. Now, looking at the next word, we have yeah, mass. Everybody want to write mass? It says the measure of the amount of matter in an object. So now we're trying to find out, you know, how big is this thing? Okay? Mass. The measure of the amount of oh. matter in an object. Now looking at this book, right, we all agree that this book has is made up of matter, right? Okay, it's all this is has matter? Okay, that's right. So now how do we know the amount of matter that's in here? What we have to do? We got you gotta measure it, right? So now looking at my little drawings over here, there are four different ways that you can measure the amount of weight of a particular matter. Okay? The first thing is called what? Anybody know what that's called? Measuring cup. Uh not a measuring cup. What else is it called? What's the science word for it? Huh? Is that a teaspoon? That looks like a spoon? What's that thing you're I like well this is the handle. Okay. So somebody said it though already. It's somebody said somebody said a cup, what kind of cup is it? Measuring cup. Measuring cup. Very good. Yeah. Also called So it's a measuring cup. Okay. What about this one? What's the science word for it? A little hard. Yeah. What do you got? Beaker. Oh, not. There's a beaker up here. Which one of these is the beaker? That one. This one right there is the beaker. Good. This is the beaker. But what's this one? This is a hard one. What you got? Graduated cylinder. Very good. Graduated. Cylinder. Now why do they call it a graduated cylinder? Why do they call it a graduated cylinder? Where did they get this word graduated cylinder from? Nobody knows? Well first of all let's take it let's let's break it down, okay? This word cylinder, right? What's a cylinder here? Why do they use the word cylinder? Because of the shape. Because of the shape, okay? This is a cylinder. You see how it goes around? Cylinder. Okay, it's long and narrow. Now, why do they say it's graduated? Tall. Because it's tall, because you measure what? Uh, liquid. Liquid, right? Now, let me ask you a question. If you were in on a, like a special math test, like let's say it's an Osa test, a Mark Twain test, a Stuyvesant test, and they said to you, when you're looking at this, right? Let's say this is the top. Okay, this is the top. When you want to measure, right, the amount of liquid, where do you measure it? The liquid on the top line or the bottom line? Bottom line. Why do you measure the bottom line? <laughs> well, most people, right, if you're measuring the liquid and you pour liquid in there, they would try to measure where the line marks off, like this, right? But in science, we know that we have to measure this. <clears throat> Why do we measure the arch and not the top line? It's because we're using a specific type of measuring. What is this thing called? A graduated Cylinder, right? Now when you hold up a graduated cylinder up and you actually look for the accurate measurement, you're going to see a little arch that forms. Now most people would try to measure the top part, right? But actually you measure the arch. Okay, and that's definitely a trick question. Okay? That's a trick question that you'll definitely see on a region. You'll see it on a Stuyvesant test. And it can mean the difference between you getting in the school and not getting in the school. It's really tricky. It's like one of those brain shakers, okay? Now this is a graduated cylinder, this is a beaker. Now what's this big contraption right here? A balance scale. A balance scale, very good. It's like you just. Yeah, a balance scale. 